In this recording, we look at a method for solving equations of the form ax to the 4 plus bx squared plus c equals 0, where we're wanting to solve this for x. Now, often when you're solving equations involving a degree 4 polynomial, methods can often be quite complicated. But here, there's a bit of a nice trick we can use, because we notice in this particular case, that both the terms with x in them have even powers of x, namely x to the 4 and x squared, and the only other term is a constant. This means we can think of this equation. Now, x to the 4 is like x squared raised to the power of 2. So it's like a times x squared squared plus bx squared plus c equals 0. This means if we then make a substitution, u, let's say, equal to x squared, the equation can be rewritten in the form au squared plus bu plus c equals 0, which temporarily turns this into a quadratic. We can then solve for u using the quadratic formula, or if there's an obvious factorization, we can use that in some cases. Then we simply substitute back to solve for x, given that x squared will be the values we find for u. So let's have a look at an example to put this into practice. So let's suppose we wanted to solve 2x to the 4 minus 7x squared minus 4 equals 0. Then this is of the form 2 times x squared squared minus 7x squared minus 4 equals 0, meaning that if we substitute u equals x squared, this becomes 2u squared minus 7u minus 4 equals 0. This example you actually could factorise that or use a quadratic formula. Because the quadratic formula will always work, I'm going to use that here. This has the form now au squared plus bu plus c equal to 0, where a is equal to 2, b is negative 7, and c is negative 4. So that using the quadratic formula, u is equal to negative b, which will be negative of negative 7, just giving 7, plus or minus the square root of b squared, so that will be negative 7 squared minus 4ac, which will be 4 times 2 times negative 4, all divided by 2a. So in this case, divided by 2 times 2. Therefore, u is equal to 7 plus or minus the square root of 49 plus 32 divided by 4. So that's going to simplify down to give us u is equal to 7 plus or minus the square root of 81 divided by 4, which is going to give us 7 plus, now square root of 81 is just 9, so 7 plus 9 on 4, which just works out to be 4, or u is going to be 7 minus 9 divided by 4, which is going to give us negative a half. So we're coming up with a solution that says u equals 4 or u equals negative a half. But what was u? Well, you might recall we let u be equal to x squared. Therefore, x squared equals 4, or x squared equals negative a half. So we need to take that extra step of then saying what values does x take. x squared equals 4 gives x equals plus or minus 2. But what about x squared equals negative a half? Now, if you're talking about a situation just with real numbers, such as x-intercepts of a graph, let's say, then you would say that x squared equals negative a half has no real solutions, meaning that the only solutions to your degree 4 equation that you'd be interested in would be these ones. 
But if you're looking at it more mathematically, in terms of complex numbers, you could also say or x equals plus or minus the square root of a half j times j. So it depends a bit on the context you're looking at. But the main things to note here are that because our original equation was all even powers of x, namely x to the 4 x squared and a constant, it was convenient to let u equal x squared so that we could rewrite this as a quadratic. We then just need to make sure at the end that we remember that u was x squared to go back to get our solutions for x.